coming pretty quickly if they start making too many mistakes. Up, it scales very hard. I mean, I love the fact that Kyle painted it as sort of the OG style. So we're going to have a five-man movement into OG, starting off with the Fisher Seb. He's going to have to go for a skewer play if he wants out of here, but he's just not going to get the chance to do so. Mind control in comparison to where Seb was at, but I could see Seb had to actually blow a decent amount of net worth on reach, and now they're going to make a full rotation of both supports. Nice. They're not messing around anymore. Thompson needs to die. Nicely done, nicely done. The max level link too, so now it actually deals in a good amount of impactful damage and immediately they make the swing top. They could actually look to help out Miracle and he needs it. Oh, he's got the stick charges, Dragon Tail up in one more second. Okay, now the Enrage is up for mid one. He can try and go for it, nice. but a Fisher. Nice, didn't see GH there at first because he was really just stop canceling it over and over again. Now they're gonna look for it as Weha is still quite low and they have the Boundless in five. He has Jingu stack, he still has one Jingu stack. Oh, just outside it. of range of the Aftershock stun there. Rolling on through, Seb, second opportunity. Uh-oh, the chain stun, Thompson. They got him. He's going to die for this relentless aggression between him and Seb. Now they get the level six on GH. The Echo Slam goes down. Got a blink. So he uses very good timing, and they're actually going to sandwich up toward him while he's pushing the tower. Look for Stocks in the back. They are going to be able to catch Soxa here. Now, mid one is still looking to be able to take this fight. That's because Thompson is going to be able to hop into the trees. A good position for the Wukong's command. Coil goes out, and they quickly surround Weeha. Bring him down pretty quick. As OG when the enemy team takes your triangle. And I think the answer was, you take the enemy's triangle, right? But Nygma, they're one step ahead with that great ward, but now they forced enough rotations, they're gonna go ahead and punish Mind Control for being so far forward. They saw three people at the bottom area of the map. They say, okay, this Venomancer has gotta pay for this positioning. Uh, he does manage to get off his poison, so it looks like No-Tail is uh, 26 charges. Ooh, He'll have to pop that to killer. survive. <laughs> Reading the maps perfectly, though. Getting these good trade plays as well. Now taking top tower. Oh, we getting very yeah, aggressive. Will have a blink soon. He, uh, he seems to know that mid one's kind of alone here, and he's going to force something out. It's going to be in the in race. See if he can get the kill before the rest of the heroes come That's in, and him. he will. In fact, now, with the supports here, he's still got a lot of damage. They've got to be very careful and kiting around this Razor. Otherwise, it could be death for one of them. Weeha trying to escape from the trees, but no such luck. And do so aggressively without getting picked off. Now, Thompson's going to try. Oh, he might They're be able to catch him down here. here. GH. It's in the Dragon Tail stun. The rest of OG is coming in hot, though. Soxa, he's going to look to be able to save Thompson, Back but the up. echo is enough to be able to bring down Thompson. There goes a bunch of their damage. Now with Mind Control throwing out the poison, this is going to be a lost fight for OG as they don't even get the chance. The Echo Slam goes off, breaks the whole initiation, and that was OG. They were actually looking for that fight. Soxa was recalling, maybe looking for some type of number advantage, but Nigma just too fast this game. The way they're moving around the map, they're just like, they're moving faster than a team which has recall around the map, which says everything. Yeah, certainly. Oh, no they tail. start off with a stun onto No Tail, and there's such long range stuns. Now, Miracle got a little bit low there, but fortunately, the Hex stops. Oh, what about the strike? On to three with the Wukong's already out. Kuro's certainly there's dead, and they're going to pull him back in. Seb on the other side. The trap is laid, and OG slam it shut onto Nigma, catching multiple cores, and it looks like they're not going to let Mind Control get away either. A TP out, and he stuns. Oh, they didn't have anything. They have to just play around their old son, OG. Look at and this read. 15 seconds to Wukong. The three man stun and then the uh, show up but oh the echo oh. comes right in maybe to be able to save we we push the edge of the coil but not quite broken he's able to steal away the damage from Thompson Thompson not gonna make it out a double kill for miracle his blink dagger in dragon form buffing Looking him bottom. as well they're immediately bottom lane they just finished up the Roshan the Aegis was just dropped on the ground and this fight is already oh Kuro he catches hits the impale right as Seb came in for that RP now he's just gonna have to content himself for maybe a kill on a GH mid one's gonna get kited around and Seb hold that RP for another fight my friend you tried but that timing it was just too unlucky. They've been under the cover of wards some of, the, some of these times, but OG just are getting outplayed and just getting outmoved anyway, There's even if they see this coming. Two heroes at the top Good lane, stop. so OG, they're gonna strike. A nice two-man boundless strike with the Wukongs out as well. Weeha is gonna look to be able to dance away with that as uh, all that movement speed, he's gotta have a haste and he does. He managed to get away and they take away the Aegis from Miracle, but OG, they don't look in great shape. And Thompson, at the end of his BKB, gets tagged, not able to jump into the trees. Gonna be chain stunned up here as there's going to be a Fisher and an Aftershock stun to chain it together. OG, they take away a life of Nygma, but a life for a life. It's getting pretty out of hand for sure. Four man. Miracle. Up. Another arcane rune for him. He'll get the jump. 
They're gonna lead on a mid one. They were kind of baiting him out, but maybe this bait is a little bit too tasty. Nice two-man RP. The Wukong's man is out, but the BKB was already activated by Weeha, so he wasn't chain stunned. Miracle, he actually man fights they mid one him. and gets the kill before he dies. Now it's gonna be Thompson inside of his own Wukong's man with no way out. The magic damage is too much for him to handle. And just Honestly, going for Topson a lot. He has nine deaths on the Monkey King. They kind of baited him into these positions where he felt like he could do something on Weeha, and then he'd get turned on. And now speaking of Weeha... Yeah. Yule's on his step, stopping the skewer and ensuring that uh, should be able to fight this still with the BKB coming out. He walks away from the coil pretty easily. His mind control should be able to finish off Seth thanks to the Spirit Vessel. He even throws the E-Blade before Thompson can actually get away. BKB pop, turns around, but honestly, the damage just looks sad as Miracle. Man fights him inside the Wukong's command, not giving a damn apparently about all these statues. A finger of death will make the difference here as it's Thompson to go down first. That's what OG is saying it. for this game. It's time. Nygma will take game one of this series. Now, going into this game two, it's OG are the ones who have to be able to play a pretty clean game. Not going to make use of it a whole lot. Is uh, Bottom lane, they're going to be able to chase down GH. This should be our first blood. That'll go to note. Don't allow him to sit here any longer. Meanwhile, mid lane, going to go again. Weeha. This time around, mid one, making the faster rotation. is going to be able to get on top of the Dragonite and go for the spin kill. And it's just enough. It. You have to take these early towers. Uh, why is that? Yeah. They have to be able to hunt this anti-mage. They have to be able to get these deep wards down to be able to watch him out. Because there's just... It's a limited game where they can actually gank and punish him. Nice Miracle, he actually blinks Thompson. in. Miracle, he's going to try and play around with the Centaur. Stun. The Centaur stun is really going to help him out here, but it's not quite enough. His blink was just coming up, but the orb comes out first from Thompson. And now Weeha, he's actually going to go ahead and pop his soul ring here to try and fight this. So it does bring him a little bit low. He gets the kill on Soxa, but it's OG who are walking away with the better of these engagements. A triple kill for Tom. A little unique for mid one here. <laughs> and as a result, he's kind of breaking the meta and breaking Weeha. the stats as well. As now Weeha is going to be dying as the Dragon Eye is. Unless they can save him. The Sun Ray isn't on him, though. GH is trying to burn out Soxa right now. The Mind Control, he laid out the Echo Slam, but they don't have nearly enough damage. They go for the egg. They're going to turn around and hit it. Kuro's going to come in. They're committing their life to be able to kill Soxa, and they will manage to get it. Soxa dies, traded out for GH, but at the same time, Miracle. He's being threatened in the back lines by Thompson. Seb's going to run forward and just keep pace with Kuro. Service Shaker, my control is getting no space to farm. He's nowhere even close to the realms of a blink tag. They're going to catch him. They spot him. Malphus, hook shot. And a black hole oh, baby. for the cherry on top. No tail is dominating. 10,000 net worth lead and fogs. I'm not sure how much longer Nygma want to keep this game going. I mean, as badly as they dumpstered OG in game one, it's even worse for Nygma this time around, but maybe an opportunity. Oh no, the Echo Slam, it didn't actually They're hit alive. Thompson. Now he's going to be pulled back into the wall. Oh, this is a disaster for Nygma as Kuro is actually healing up a lot until the Omni Slash both cuts him down as well as Weeha. And you know, Mind Control, he's not going to be let out, that, out of this so easily either. Oh. Fish to fry. He's trying to find farm anywhere he can on the map, uh -oh. but he's being chased everywhere he goes. He's going to go for a TP out. They spot him. Vacuum. Malefice is there from No Tail. And, and the black hole with the wall, just to make sure that they do indeed have him dead. He started out with 4-1-1, just the one point in the idol lines. Mm -hmm. It's actually had such a big impact this game. His black holes have been on point, too. They're just... <laughs> yeah, they're really just running away with the game. Oh, Weeha! They actually do manage to get there. Oh, but the orb oh. rolled him over before he could finish up with the Fisher. Still, though, if they kill mid one, it's mid well nice. worth it. Mid one has been given all this space, but for what? Maybe for a good fight. A vacuum over to the side, and Egg is on out, but Nygma have already lost all their heroes, so it's GH left alone. That's going to be scrambled eggs for breakfast for OG. With this Maelstrom. Yeah, oh, jeez. A DD is just an excuse. Jump. A two-man hook shot from Soxa. It's not going to get much better than this. An opportunity for a black hole. They vacuum him inside of the cogs to make that three inside that little window with GH. Going to be the last to fall with the egg down. He's going to buy back. But what good of use is that? Car oh comes my in God. and dies instantly. That wasn't an Omni Slash. That was a Swiss Strike. He's still got that extra firepower ready to go on mid one. Thanks to the DD, he is just blowing up everybody on the side of Nygma. Okay, they're going to smoke up. 
go around. Last ditch effort here for Nigma in this game too. Kuro's gonna lead the way with the exorcism blinking in inside the cogs with the midnight pulse already out. A big new coming out from Thompson. Miracle tries to show himself, but he immediately gets pulled into the black hole. Another pull in for the vacuum and mind control. He'll die as well. GH is the topper, and that's it. We're it going to a third and deciding game. Nigma versus OG. Based on the support. You can pressure the Riki still a lot in lane as Weeha may actually die here with all this aggression that he was going for. Thompson, he's going to go Is for easy actually? creep to die, but it's not going to be enough. Thompson oh my God. claims the first blood and Weeha is already suffering. Roll up top, top lane, rolls past Miracle, straight into the hands of GH, immediately hexes him up. They still get a nice kick onto Miracle, but they're running out of damage now. And Seb, he's been caught by Kuro. The creep wave's coming in, though. The battery assault isn't nailing him every single time. Seb is hoping to be able to get the kill on GH before he goes down. Fairy Fire keeps him alive for a little bit longer. They both get traded out here while Soxa trying to juke away into the trees. Does have a roll up blocked by Kuro. Okay. Can they still get this somehow? The cogs, oh, oh no. After getting the tomes, we see the supports on the side of OG. They're both about to be six. And if they give up this mid tower, it's going to feel like Nygma just had no space to breathe right now as Weeha getting lower and lower with the extra He's bit alive. of damage. Might be able to kill him, but Kuro is on top of No Tail. At the same time, Mind Control gets dangerously low at the top lane. They did manage to chase down No Tail, oh. but look at Weeha. He's being tracked out by mid one. Weeha knows, though. A smart read by him. He has no way to get him out. God, if he just died to mid one right now. Oh no, the tree stuck to the tricks of the trade. Okay, he gets a sentry down. Okay, they, they roll into the wards here. The wards are uh, not going to time out that soon, but they do manage to kill both the supports here. My control's going to come in, make sure Soxa is finished. The spear actually not killing Soxa. Nailed no tail in the back. Another diving. Still. Yeah, there's going to be Zeb coming in for this play as well. They've already killed Miracle, and my control, he'll be cleaned up as well pretty easily as there it is. And this has just Girl. been uh, blistering sent by OG in the last two games. Now they're going to run into him with an Orchid and Miracle trying to cut down the tree. Cuts the wrong one. Stuck inside. Just dead again. Mind control. Desperate for something. Is going to land a spear here. They've got the disables to kill Top Shirley. And Soxa does try and interrupt things. It looks like Thompson gotten a little bit too big for his britches or maybe just started a fight that was overall good is gh still gonna die to step step gets off the wrath of nature big boost of damage is gonna be coming in but step does die to the spear to the wall pinned up and killed no tail doesn't have the black hole they're gonna get in front of soxa here uh oh here comes mid one and i believe he's got a fresh battle fury and that damage Kuro stuck the whole time he's stuck in the serpent <laughs> wards again cap he couldn't help the entire time he's just stuck <laughs> I actually could not believe it. I'm like, where the hell is the clock? And he's just, he's stuck in the Serpent Wards. He can't help out. Perhaps they could get another kill. They're Seb. chasing. We they actually catch him. They are going to be able to catch Seb. At the same time, Weeha's being caught. The difference is, Seb, he's got his VKB. He's got a way to be able to turn around a fight. You don't chain those stuns, and Seb will make you pay with every single hero that joined in this engagement. He'll make sure oh they God. all die. To step out of that base and immediately is being punished every single time. Oh, what a spear. They've actually got him. That's going to be one. Can they do two? Cogs into a hook shot is going to be a lot of stun time here. They have GH there, but it's immediately stopped. They are going to try and get out what damage they can, but Seb is pumping it out. He's trying to kill Mind Control. The Orchid is not going to take him out. Hex onto Thompson. Black hole Black pulling hole. back in Miracle. Do they have to disable? They do. A hook shot's going to be able to stop that one. Curl running interference as best he can, but Seb with his BKB looking to be able to chase down Miracle. Kuro is going to die, but it looks like maybe he saved this team fight. They turn around. Nice shot there from GH. Mind Control's back at it. He really wants this kill on one of the corks, but the Oh ring, my dude, god. <laughs> it's too much with an E-Blade from Tops and all that magic damage just 100 to 0. Against uh, Tundra as well. Oh, Tyco, so jump in. Spear onto Seb. See if they can keep the chainsaw to prevent the BKB from going off. He is indeed dead, but the backline's being demolished oh, right now. Look at this battle fury from the Riki go to work as they're all stuck in this AoE with a double damage to boot. The tankier two cores of the Medusa and Viper, they survived the initial burst, but there is relentless chase here from OG. You know Weeha's not going to survive. It's a momentary reprieve before inevitable death. Even pro players make mistakes at times. A little bit of a misclick there as Weeha, he shows himself in the wave. Going to get committed on immediately. Does have the BKB. 
to protect him for at least a slight moment. Yep, the hookshot comes in to try and stop that black hole. The damage is done, though, as the air spear is able to finish him off mid one. Jumping onto the Medusa, ignoring the stone gaze for the most part, and just hops over to GH instead, kills him. Kuro was able to deal with no tail, but the five position of OG is dead. The other four stand strong inside of Nigma's base, wiping them, and uh, they are going to force a submission. Megas are going to come up. They may have a Medusa, and maybe that's uh, the last little shred of hope they're hoping for here is some sort of throw into the fountains because <laughs> mid one, every single time he shows up, he appears. Nigma heroes disappear. And there it is, finally. GG with uh, one final whimper. Nigma die inside their base. Give it up, Megas. A 42,000.